Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be configuring PHP List, which we have just installed on our server here at the XYZ. So you'll see here the uh, details of the installation. I've got my admin username as admin, my password as password, as well as the URL to log into the admin area and the installation URL. So clicking on this will take me to the PHP list uh, website where people can actually subscribe to the newsletters um, just by clicking this. It'll probably give you an error because there's not any uh, anything configured yet. So we're going to take care of that now. We're going to log into the administrator area and this URL will take us there. So this is the administrator dashboard that you will see when you first install PHP list. We're going to log in here. And here we go. This is the screen, the dashboard screen you will see when you first log in. So to get started, we're going to start the configuration. Let's check the settings. So you can see we've got our URL here. You can give it a name. This is the default sender and the name of the sender. So again, we can change that. This is the default footer that people will see when you send a campaign. So this can also be customized. Um, by default, it has the uh, the email that it gets sent from uh, the unsubs unsubscribe URL. So these are messages subscribers receive when they sign up. I would leave these blank because. I believe this is actually configured on the lists page for every separate list. So that's going to be one of the next steps that we do. So the header of public pages, this will be, for example, this here. footer. So for example, I've just wrote this is a test. If I save the changes and then take a look at our public page, we'll see the test information now. various URLs that have all been configured for us. So that's basically it. So now that's been set up, we can add a subscriber list. So by default there are two lists already created for me. I wanted to add a new list. Just click add list. I 
whether it's public or not. Quick save. Now users can select the lists they wish to subscribe to, enter the email address and confirm. One more important setting to add to PHP list which I actually have another video for is to configure the SMTP. So I'll post a link to that in the description of the video. It's very important that you configure SMTP to ensure that uh, mail does actually get sent to a PHP list. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.